Welcome to this edition of Pink Slip Lemonade and today I'm going to show you how to create interactive flashcards by assigning actions to objects and adding triggers to your animations. Um, in this, let's see here, I'm going to escape out of that. I've already set up a slide here and um, <clears throat> I've set up uh, four steps here. The first thing you want to do is create all of your graphic and your text elements on your slide exactly the way you want it to appear. Uh, then you're going to assign actions to your navigation buttons that are down here, your left and your right arrows. Then you'll set a trigger for your answer to appear on your flashcard. So the first thing you'll see when the slide appears is you'll see the Spanish phrase and then when you click for the answer you'll have the English phrase appear. And you also will have the option of recording audio to include with your answer so the student will be able to hear uh, what the English phrase sounds like. So <clears throat> to get started here, I'm, first I'm going to get these off the screen. We're going to create all of our graphic and our text elements. That's already done. The next thing we're going to do is assign actions to our navigation buttons. So we come down here to our left arrow, click on that to select it, go to your insert menu, insert action. And in this case, on the mouse click, we want to hyperlink to the previous slide and we hit OK. Now we do the same thing for our right arrow. <clears throat> Click Action, hyperlink to next slide. Hit OK. And now the next thing we want to do is uh, our text box. We don't want that to come in until we click for the answer. So I select my text box click Animations, Custom Animation, and now I'm going to add an effect. Entrance, Fade, and we're going to have that happen very fast. And now we have some options for this uh, text box. If you click uh, the text box animation here, you see Effect Options. And if we go to our Timing tab, you'll see a trigger down here at the bottom. Click that and it will open up another little menu. And we want this to start the effect on the click of, and if you click that drop down, you'll see a bunch of options. These are all of your graphic elements in your slide. And in this case, we want it to happen when we click on Oval 16, which is Click for Answer. Now, I also have the option here of adding audio. Over here on the Effect tab, you have an enhancement. You can add sound. And in this case, I've already recorded a sound. It's simply called Try This. And I'll hit Try okay. This. And you can hear that come in. It, it runs a little preview for you. Okay, so now I'm going to delete all of these. Oops. And let's test this slide. I'll hit play on the slideshow. You can see the slide appears uh, with the Spanish uh, phrase on the left. If I hit my back arrow, it's going to go to the previous slide. And if I hit my next arrow, that goes to the next slide. Whoops. Don't want that to happen. <laughs> it's going to play my... I'm not ready to stop. Um, okay, let's do this again. Hit play. Now, when I click for answer, try this. The answer appears and you hear... Uh, the audio as well, along with an annoying ticking sound, which is part of my recording program here. So hopefully you won't have that issue. Now, the really cool thing is that if you want to make a lot of these slides, all you have to do is go to your slide sorter view. Make sure that your uh, first uh, slide is selected, the one that you want to copy. 
do a copy and paste, control C, copy, click right after there and click control V and it makes another copy of that slide. So when we go to our second slide now, we can change this to something else. Try this mango. Now, I want to also change my audio. Uh, so here I'll go to my custom animation. Click on this. You can see that when I copied the slide, everything got copied, including all of the animations. So in this case, I'm going to go to my effect options. And instead of saying, try this, we want it to say, let's see if it's in here. It is not. So I'm going to go down to other sound. There it is. Try this. Try this mango. Try this mango. Okay, so let's go to the previous slide and we'll try play now. Click for answer. Try this. Go to my next slide. Try this mango. And that is how you create uh, flashcards in PowerPoint 2007.